Today, I'm back with some new sunscreen reviews, including one that has been highly anticipated. Hey guys, welcome back to Sherpoo. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new, welcome. And if you're already a part of the Sherpoo family, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. So let's get right into it. I do have another sunscreen roundup for you guys. And the first sunscreen we're going to be talking about today is one that has been all over social media. A lot of people were looking forward to this, but it was announced by Beauty of Jozan. And this is the Ginseng Moist Sun Serum. I know quite a few of you messaged me and asked me, Sherry, will you be trying it? Well, I have, so let's get into the sunscreen. Now, I want to start off by reading what Beauty of Jozan said about the sunscreen and why they developed it. So they said that many people typically avoid sunscreen because of its oily texture, yes, white cast, yes, and the inconvenience of including it in their skincare regimen. So in response to this, we aimed to create a product offering both effective sun protection and skincare benefits without the typical sunscreen drawbacks. That sounds exciting to me. The other main thing that they mentioned with regards to this product is that they included ginseng which if you've been following korean skincare you know it's one of those hangbang ingredients really really important to the koreans because its properties are really good for well aging and nourishing the skin so this sunscreen as with most of the sunscreens that i have been reviewing is spf 50 plus pa4 pluses so we already know that it has high uva and uvb protection check <laughs> Now, I know some of you may already be thinking, because when you're looking at this, how does it compare to the original Beauty of Josan sunscreen? And right away, what appealed to me when this was advertised is because they were talking about the type of formulation. The formula is that capsule serum type of texture, very similar, very, very similar to the Goodall sunscreen that I reviewed a couple months ago. And because they talked about how lightweight it would be and the oily texture that people tend to avoid, I thought that this was going to be Beauty of Josan's option for oily skin combination skin since the original one really is best for normal to dry skin types well boy <laughs> was I wrong and based on that you could tell that I'm definitely jumping ahead of my review now let's look at the filters both the original and this one contain newer generation UV filters and they are all chemical sunscreens and these will not give you a white cast which is a plus for people with skin of color this sun serum contains 2% niacinamide and I have to give props to Beauty of Jozan because I like the fact that they declare the percentage of the actives that they are marketing in specific products. However, this one does contain alcohol and it does contain essential oils. That being said though, I really can't smell anything from the sunscreen. I mean, and I think I have a really good nose. So you really have to have a very, very special nose to detect any kind of fragrance in here. Now, usually in these videos, I will include a demo of how the sunscreen looks on my skin. Unfortunately, you will not be seeing this for me because this particular sunscreen burns my my eyes like crazy. I used it once and I just could not put myself through that again. So if the sunscreens that usually affect my eyes usually affect you, then this might be one that you want to avoid. Let's talk about the texture, the wear, the feel of this on my skin. So as they said, this does have that capsule type serum texture. When it comes out, you're thinking, oh my goodness, this looks like it's going to be so lightweight on the skin. And as you start to apply it, you can see that the sunscreen has that initial lightweight feel. But as you start to massage this and use your quarter teaspoon, I actually find this feels almost suffocating on my skin almost has a very balmy texture which is so strange because I was not expecting that and then I thought it was just me but then I started to see some of my other colleagues in the skincare review world and a lot of them were saying that that was the thing that completely shocked them so while I thought that this was going to be best for combination oily skin I have to say that this is a sunscreen that I recommend if you have dry to normal skin this is definitely going to be as glowy as the original in fact if you apply them side by side on your face you're probably not even going to be able to tell the difference in terms of which side is which because the finish on the skin is almost identical so if you don't like that glowy finish from the original sunscreen then this is not going to be for you as well and yeah I think that's really all that I want to say about the sunscreen as you guys realize it's not my favorite I already have a friend who is waiting to get this so I had to include it in this particular video so that I could pass it on to her but I don't know have you guys tried it I'd love to hear it was kind of disappointing for me but the thing about it is definitely not for my skin type it's not for my skin but there are many people who are actually really enjoying this so it's definitely for somebody out there. Next, we're going to talk about a sunscreen and I'll give you the preview right now that I absolutely love and it is for my skin type, right? So this is the Suncut UV Perfect Milk Super Waterproof SPF 50 Plus PA4 Pluses. This one is a Japanese sunscreen. I think it would have been in my last sunscreen review 
review video, I reviewed the essence version of this and this one is the milk. So a lot of these Japanese sunscreens will have multiple versions in the same line. So if you look online and you're going to buy one of these, you want to make sure that you pick up the specific name that you're looking for because the packaging and the colors tend to be very similar. As you guys may realize as well, I've been getting into a whole lot of Japanese sunscreens. My one issue with the Japanese sunscreens is that a lot of them, they don't have bilingual packaging. They don't have any English sometimes on their packaging as well. So it makes it more difficult, I think, to market in this part of the world, whereas the Koreans are here and they're ready to go. So as you guys would have heard, this one also does have SPF 50+, plus, PA4+, pluses, high UVA, high UVB protection. Tick! <laughs> What the brand says about this particular sunscreen is that it contains a new stretch fit formula that adapts to movements of the skin under the influence of water, sebum and sweat. So this is one of those sunscreens that is water and sweat and sebum resistant. It does contain moisturizing ingredients to help prevent dehydration of the skin. So things like squalane, hyaluronic acid, collagen. They also include 10 plant extracts. So you're also getting a lot of antioxidants in the sunscreen and they also describe it as a perfect makeup base. This this sunscreen is a hybrid sunscreen. It does contain zinc oxide as the mineral filter and then a combination of newer chemical UV filters primarily and one older filter, octinoxid, which is one that does not bother my skin at all. This sunscreen does contain alcohol as do a lot of Japanese sunscreens, which is what helps the elegance on the skin, the application and all of that. But you will see, as I mentioned, that they included a lot of hydrating ingredients to make sure and combat any type of dehydration your skin might experience because of the alcohol in this formula. So you're actually getting the best of both worlds. And that's one of the reasons why I think my skin loves the sunscreen so much. They also mentioned that the sunscreen can be a great makeup base. And one of the reasons for that is because of the dimethicone that you will find in this sunscreen. A lot of sunscreens that do have silicones in them tend to work almost like a primer on the skin. And because these days are just so hot and I am a sweater, I am reaching for more and more of my sweat resistant sunscreens and the Japanese are great at that. So as you will see, this is a milk type texture. So it's one of those liquidy sunscreens. You all know I love those. I can actually apply my whole quarter teaspoon in one go. I don't need to apply this one in two layers. When you initially apply it, there is a slight cooling sensation. I actually love it, especially because the place is so hot. That just lasts for a couple seconds and that's partly because of the alcohol that's in the formula as well. As you are applying the sunscreen, it will feel a little bit slippy on the skin and that's because of the silicones. Just apply your sunscreen and once you've blended it in your skin, you want to just leave it and let it set for a couple minutes. I notice that even though you might see a little bit of a glow on the initial application, after about 10 to 15 minutes, this is going to settle into a natural matte finish and as time progresses I actually find it gets a little bit more matte and that's one of the things I love about it on my oily skin. Now although this is a hybrid sunscreen I get no white cast as you can see in the demo as well. It blends in so beautifully. I also get no eye sting with this one and some sunscreens are going to be coming out of my top 10 and this is definitely going to be in there. I have been loving this. This bottle is almost finished and I already have a backup because especially in these hot summer months, <laughs> this is definitely one of my go-to sunscreens. This is a sunscreen that I would recommend for combination to oily skin types. Perhaps even if you're normal and you're applying moisturizer underneath, it's going to be fine for you. If you're somebody who sweats a lot, you're looking for sweat resistant sunscreen depending on the skin type. Type, depending on what you might be sensitive to it may be a good option for you whether you use moisturizer or not will depend on your skin type but especially if you're oily combination looking for a more natural matte finish sunscreen i highly recommend you try this one next is another sunscreen release that really had me intrigued and this is by haru haru have you guys heard that haru haru has released sunscreens in fact they released two this one and the other one or the reason why i didn't purchase the other one is because that one is their oil mineral sunscreen so i'm expecting that it's going to have a white cast on my skin and i'm like not really feeling to go through that right now but this one is the one that they have developed that has all chemical filters. I have seen beautiful demos online. This one has no white cast. They've used it on really deep skin tones as well. So if you are deep and you're looking for a no white cast sunscreen immediately, I can tell you that this is going to be one of your options. But before I jump the gun, let's take a look at what Haru Haru says about this one. This is the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Moisture Airy Fit Daily Sunscreen. SPF 50 plus, PA4 pluses, high UVA and UVB protection. So Haru Haru says about this one that the hydrating formula 
is infused with the iconic ingredient black rice oil, an extract that moisturizes the skin and provides antioxidant benefits. It is also enriched with ceramides, heart leaf extract, which is a really nice anti-inflammatory adenosine niacinamide to provide extra skin relief, plumping and brightening benefits. This one does contain all new generation UV chemical filters. It is also alcohol free, fragrance free and essential oil free. If those three things are of concern to you, then this is definitely an option that you can take a look at. Let's get into texture, wear, finish, feel and all of that. Now on this tube, they say non-greasy velvet finish. And these are the things that concern me a little bit about brands when they test it and they're applying it like who is saying these things who is making these claims <laughs> because i think that when we are going to make these claims that we should be trying it on multiple different skin types on different skin tones and these people should be applying the sunscreen in the right amount so that we can get a real idea of how it's going to play on real skin Anyway, I have had no issue with this blending. It is a lotion, creamy type texture, but this blends in beautifully. Within seconds, it's in the skin. There is no white cast at all. I have no eye sting with this one. I have no irritation with this one. Overall, when it comes to those factors, zero issues for me. This sunscreen, however, I will recommend more for normal to dry skin types as well. Again, while they say it has a non-greasy velvet finish, I will agree it's not greasy. However, this feels more like a moisturizer on my skin and I tend to feel it. Now, Korean sunscreens in general are way more lightweight than Western sunscreens. If you've moved from Western sunscreens to Korean sunscreens, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. There are so many wonderful options on the market that I could actually feel feel this one on my skin that doesn't mean that it's heavy it just means that it's slightly heavier than most of the sunscreens that I will reach for on a daily basis I think however that this is going to be a really great sunscreen if you have sensitivities to all those other things that I mentioned and you're probably dry to normal maybe even combination skin could get away with this and you could probably just skip moisturizer if you're combination skin and use this because it contains a lot of hydrating and moisturizing ingredients and that's going to cover you for both steps the last sunscreen we're going to talk about today is this one and some of you are going to be like but sherry why are you talking about tm you've spoken about tm before this is new what's going on but yes it is so this is the tm daily sun care cream let me just give you guys a backstory. So the TM sunscreen has been one of my favorites for a few years now. We started off in the red tube, the Vita Red sunscreen, and then they changed their packaging because TM has been upgrading the packaging for a lot of their products. And they moved over that same formula into this packaging and they renamed it the Daily Sun Care Cream. However, very recently, TM has renewed their sunscreen formula. So we still have this packaging, the same name. However, the product inside is different. So we need to talk about that. The focus of the sunscreen in terms of it being vitamin infused has not changed. That was one of the things that a lot of people loved about the original TM sunscreen because it contains vitamin C. So you get a little bit of that brightening effect when using the sunscreen. While this is still a hybrid sunscreen, meaning that it contains both chemical and mineral UV filter, Filters. It does contain titanium dioxide, which is the mineral filter and a combination of older and newer chemical UV filters. It does contain two forms of vitamin C and it also contains alcohol and some fragrance. Now, the first one had a more floral fragrance. While they say this contains fragrance, I actually can't smell anything. It definitely does not smell like that one. So if that was something that you enjoyed about the previous sunscreen, you're not going to get that in this one. This one to me just smells like sunscreen. I don't smell anything specifically, so I'm not sure what is the fragrance that they actually put in here, but I just need to tell you that. Something else you should know about this is that this is a niacinamide-free sunscreen. And I know that there are people with some niacinamide sensitivities, and it seems today like everything has niacinamide, including sunscreens, but this is one that does not have it. So here you actually do have an option. Just like the original one, this blends into my skin really well. I do not get a white cast with the sunscreen. And if you did not get a white cast with the previous one, I don't expect that you will get any white cast with this one. This formula does have that lotion-y texture. However, to me, it feels a little bit different when it goes on the skin. 
This one gives me a slightly glowier finish than the original. Like the original, I found like I got a more natural finish. I absolutely love that sunscreen. I went through so many tubes of that sunscreen. But this one definitely gives me glow. So that's one of the things that you have to know. Because even people with combination oily skin would have used that TM sunscreen, the previous formula. I found it to be very versatile. Because I've had clients of so many varying skin types use the TM, repurchase the TM, and love that sunscreen for so long. Now, this one i would actually recommend this for you if you have dry to normal skin i am not sure that combination oily people would like this unless you're literally just washing your face applying this with no other serum no other moisturizer so that this could kind of be your all-in-one step and you want a little bit of a glow on your skin now while i'm saying all of that you all do know that i do love a glow but the level of glow that i start off with is what i need to be concerned about because my skin is going to be producing more oils as we go through the day Honestly, all I need to do is put some powder on this and I could absolutely use it. However, I am not reaching for this sunscreen the way I used to reach for TM before. So this is no longer going to be one of the top sunscreens for my skin type personally. However, if some of the other issues that you may have had with the original formula, like probably that floral smell, I think this might be a really good option for you to look into especially if you need a nice and might free formula if you have tried the new formula yet i would love to hear in the comments down below what you guys think because this does contain a little bit of silica in the formulation and silica is helpful in a sunscreen formulation to kind of absorb some oils yet i'm not sure how much that's actually doing for my skin type i guess it's because i also have a lot more options that work a little bit better on my skin type so this is not necessarily one of the sunscreens that i found myself reaching for that's it for today's sunscreen reviews i hope that these reviews were helpful I'd love to hear any comments down below. Do any of these look interesting to you? What stands out to you? Have you tried any of them? Listen, all of our skins are so different. It's so personal. You would find many people trying the same product and having a wide variety of experience. And that's why these reviews can be helpful to so many people. So I'd love to hear in the comments down below your thoughts. And I will see you guys again in another video soon. Take care. Bye.